Also, the today, when you sat down, whether you knew it or not, you sat down within a connection community. So each of our sections and connection communities are broken up. You can tell where you're at by the colored bands on the ends of the seats around you. Well, every once in a while, we have um, meals where we get together after the service, and that connection community just gets an opportunity with no agenda just to get to hang out, get to know each other, and to talk with people you are worshiping with every single weekend. Well, today, the dinner is for the Green Connection community, so it's, yeah, that's right, you can, you can applaud that, you can, so it's, it's you guys today. Uh, so what that means is after the service, you make your way out to the gathering at the end of the lobby, and if you brought a side dish, great, if you didn't, we still have plenty of food, and we'd love to have you out there. Blue, it's your, your week is next weekend, so you get to look forward to that, that's right, you're excited, and I'm also watching, while I'm talking, I'm always watching to see if anybody's switching sections to try and get in on the Greens community dinner. Don't be doing that. I'm watching you, okay? Um, well, I also, right at this time, I want to welcome in the venue upstairs with us through the live feed. Would you guys join me in just welcoming the venue with us today? <laughs> what we're going to do now is for all of our small group leaders, if you're down here in this room, if you're upstairs in the venue, we just want to invite you to make your way up to the front of the room that you're in right now, and we're going to commission our small group leaders and pray over them. But first, I want you guys to do something with me as a room. Can you do that? Yes? Okay, I'm not sure because some people didn't say yes. Okay, so what I want you to do is I'm going to count to three, and I want you to say, uh, tell me about your couch, Dan. So if our small group leaders, go ahead and make your way to the front. They're in the room. All right, so one, two, three. Hey, guys, guess what? My couch is where my small group sits when we meet. And my question for you is, are you in a small group? See what I did there? So all these people up here wearing these gray t-shirts, these are small group leaders that are launching groups in this, this fall. And if you are interested in a small group, they're leading a group. Or if you're interested in learning more about a small group, they can help give you more direction and point you towards a small group. And what, uh, in John 1:14, in the message, it words it this way, that Jesus put on flesh and blood and he moved into the neighborhood. He did this so that we could see him and so we could know him and experience the hope in life that's only found in Jesus Christ. And we believe that he has called all of us to do that same thing. And so these are leaders that have said, you know what, we are, mo we are bringing Jesus Christ into our neighborhoods and into our homes, and we're opening up, uh, opening up these spaces so that more people can experience spiritual community. And I just love that we're doing this. And so what we want to do is commission them. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pray over these leaders. And the word commission literally means to entrust mission. So we are entrusting the mission of creating spiritual spaces for spiritual community to these leaders in, in their homes, their neighborhoods, and their communities. So would you join me in extending your hands towards these leaders? And we're just going to pray over them uh, together this morning. God, we trust that your heart is for us. God, that you desire for us to grow into full life in you. And Jesus, we also trust that your heart is for those that do not know you yet, that are not yet in relationship with you. So God, I just ask that as these leaders um, open up their homes and as they open up spaces for spiritual community, God, that you would bless that. I ask that you would go ahead of them, Holy Spirit, and that you will stir and you will work and you will move. God, I ask that you would guide their conversations, their relationships. God, you will guide the mission that they are on together. Jesus, you would encourage people here at Pathway and around Fort Wayne to jump into a small group, to jump into the opportunity of spiritual community. And Jesus, we ask in your name that our neighborhoods, that our homes, that our church, that Fort Wayne would be different, God, because we were faithful and obedient to you in this. And I pray this all in your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. You guys can go ahead and have a seat. Thanks for coming up. Well, this is a great time to jump into a small group. If you are not in a small group currently, if you've never been in a small group or you have in the past, but you're not right now, this is such a great season to jump into a small group. We're taking the conversations that we have here on the weekend at Pathway and bringing them into our homes and continuing that same conversation in our homes. And this is just a great opportunity to experience this. It's so hard often, even as Christ followers, to do this thing on our own. But the beautiful thing about a small group is that you can, you can journey towards Christ in community with other people who are doing the exact same thing. So I can't encourage you enough to jump into a small group. Uh, if you open up your sermon notes, we have a, li a list of some of our uh, currently open small groups in, that, in your notes. You can also sign up for a group out at the kiosk after the service uh, next to the coffee bar, that big uh, countertop over there. And we're going to have a bunch more groups added into this list as well next week and the weekend after that. So keep looking into it and jump into a small group. Uh, you, you won't regret it. Uh, so what we're going to do now is jump into our fourth week of our Saturate series where we're encouraged to pray big, to live generously, and love our neighbors. I'm excited about this conversation. You join me for week four of Saturate. 